Bob Craig. So that's right, I, I gave the valedictorian speech in, in 1965, but I, I'm sure it's not true anymore. I mean, but in those days, the valedictorian at Aquinas was elected. And, uh, and so it was not the person who had the highest grades, as it is in most, most places, and perhaps even, even at Aquinas today, I don't know. Um, but, uh, but we held a, as I recall it, we, we had, a, um, we had a, an assembly where candidates for various offices that could be elected, including valedictorian, uh, gave speeches. And then they, they were, there was a vote, and we were elected. Uh, so I definitely did not have the highest grades at Aquinas uh, uh, that year. Um, uh, and part of the reason that I was that I was uh, so involved with forensics <laughs> that I didn't have uh, I wasn't devoting devoting as much time to my studies as I probably should have. But forensics was a very very rewarding uh, experience, and uh, I want to say that I'm I'm extremely proud and very honored to. Uh, to have been chosen to represent the team uh, uh, here this evening to accept this induction in, into the Hall of Fame. Um, the three uh, principals uh, who you've been hearing about and who appear in an iconic uh, photo in, the, uh, in your program and also engraved on the, uh, on the Hall of Fame plaque that we'll receive, um, uh, two of them are, are deceased, uh, the coach Gordy, Gordy Gihand and, and Tom Farrell. Uh, and the third, Tom Hendrick, uh, could not be here this evening. Um, one of them certainly would have been more appropriate to, to stand here, but I was selected because I was a senior member of the, of the forensics team, which as I think about it is kind of funny because we're all well into our 60s by now, you know, but I guess no matter how old we get, I'll still be the most senior <laughs> person you know, of, the, of the group, and so, and so here I am. Um, but I want to say that, that although uh, you know, Tom and Jim won the national championship and should be honored for that. The entire team, this was really a team effort over the, over the course of that year. Uh, and as the citation says, we won some 60 trophies that, that year. Uh, and that's across a number of members of, uh, of that team and in a variety of, of forensics, uh, categories of forensics uh, competition. Uh, and so I know that every member of the team is, is as proud as I am of, of and as grateful as I am to be recognized in, in this way. Um, but I do want to say, uh, say just a couple of more words about the three men um, uh, who, are, who are in that photo and who were involved in the national uh, championship. Um, Tom Farrell uh, is actually the only person at Aquinas uh, who I remained a close friend with uh, through the rest of, through, through, you know, through his, in, his entire life until his his uh, untimely death a, a few years ago. Uh, we stayed in contact, we followed similar professional paths through graduate school. We both became university professors in the field of communication studies at, at different uh, universities. Um, and I asked his wife Vera, uh, as I was thinking about this, this event and what I would say, uh, if, if there's anything that, if there's any thoughts that, that she uh, uh, thought might be expressed, and, and this is what she said to me. She said, Tom's experience on the debate team was very formative of his future academic life. Growing up in a very working class family where no one had ever gone to college, having, having the experience that he had in debating, raising his awareness not only that he could be successful in college, but also uh, determine what disciplines he would become a scholar of. And he shared with me that this time at Aquinas saved him from the dark side. Uh, my own story is, is perhaps not quite as dramatic, uh, but it has a similar arc. Uh, and, 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 I, and, and something that I want to emphasize about the experience of participating in debate and forensics uh, is, the, is the tremendous contribution that it made, and certainly in my case, to my personal development, to my intellectual development, in terms of learning skills of research, how to build an argument, uh, how to stand up and speak for my, myself uh, persuasively in, in lots of different situations. Uh, and I know that, that the course of my life has been quite different than it would have been uh, uh, for, this, uh, for this experience. Uh, Jim Hendrick, who I, who I did not have contact 
with for long out of, out of high school, but I reestablished contact very recently. Uh, also attributes some of his success to this experience. Uh, he went on to graduate from Canisius College and the University of Miami Law School and has pursued a career, a successful career in law in, in the state of Florida. Um, Gordy D. Hond, our coach, uh, was a very young man uh, uh, at the time that, that he uh, coached this team, just a few years out of, out of college himself. Um, and when he died some years after leaving Aquinas, uh, he was still quite a young man. Um, he was, he was, even though he didn't attend the, the final, the, the uh, national championship debate, uh, he really was an, an incredibly effective coach and one who uh, demanded integrity and pride in ourselves, uh, as well as a competitive spirit in his, in his team. Uh, and that sense of confidence that, that Tom Farrell reports, I think, is something that, that he inculcated in, into us. Um, I want to say that, uh, that this recognition, uh, in, in some ways, is, has been a long time coming uh, for him. And I'm, and I'm very grateful. Uh, I want to thank the, the nomination committee and everybody who's involved uh, in this for, for, having, for having done this, because uh, Gordy's contribution to the heritage of Aquinas and to the lives of every one of us who was fortunate to participate in forensics, in AQ forensics in that era, uh, very well merits this. So thank you very much.